Have you ever woken up, got out of bed, brushed your teeth, put on a kettle, gone to the gym and thought to yourself, why am I here? Today I'm going to talk to you guys about setting goals. Fitness goals, all type of goals. It doesn't just have to be fitness, but this is a fitness channel. So I'm talking about setting fitness goals. And if you're like me, I'm a person that thrives off of setting goals, progress. Progress is very important to someone like me. Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this whilst I'm going through my chest and back workout. That's going to be like a B-roll whilst I'm talking to you guys. Um, just so you guys don't get bored of just seeing my face and that, you know what I mean? Working out um, this morning, chest and back on a Monday. I love it. We're talking to you guys about what's going on, why setting a goal is important and why I've just thought about this literally last night. <laughs> like I said, for me, not having a program, a training program has meant that my training has literally been just going to the gym and just train like attack certain muscle groups that I feel like are lagging maybe, or just, just hit legs. I've been hitting a lot of shoulders because that's one of my weak points that I still want to develop a lot. But it's like, there's no structure. And for me, without structure, you're, it's, it's sad, 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 blah, 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 blah. you know, it's, <laughs> what? <laughs> you need structure. So um, I've still been training, still been working out, you know, still trying to do a little bit of cardio here and there, but it's not, it's not there's no structure, there's no goal. I'm just doing it and it, it can't run. Not for me, because you know, right now I'm at, at a stage where, yes, I'm close to reaching my natural limit. Um, again, I have been training for many years by myself, not having a training partner. I feel like the natural limit that's left, if I had a training partner, I could probably reach because I feel like when you have a training partner, that's when you could do like um, negative failures. Like, you know, you 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 hold it down, boom, 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 boom. Partner helps you, like, like a bench press, you know, you control it all the way down nice and slowly. And if you can't do the eccentric, what's it called? What's it called? You have the eccentric and concentric. So if you can't do your concentric, you can control the eccentric, you know, coming down. But the concentric, you can't control. So your partner helps you push it up. And that's still progressive overload. Things like that, you know, getting in them final extra reps. I feel like I haven't been able to get those because I don't have a training partner. So I feel like that's like my natural limit that's left on the table um, because I don't train with a training partner if you're a beginner i feel like you should make small steps like small goals um don't do something too crazy to the point where you're like you know what that's pretty impossible to do within a short period of time um it's good to give yourself like a long-term goal goal and also short-term goals as well so like daily goals like it can be as small as something like i'm gonna check my macros today you know just the fact that you set as a goal and then you actually accomplish it by the end of the day you you feel good you feel better than just waking up going about the day eating what you want and you're not going towards anything i don't, I don't that just for, for me that makes me feel shitty like it's like yo like what was the point what did i do today like i didn't i didn't do nothing um so having a to-do list especially when it comes to fitness and just life in general having a to-do list is very important so say like tracking macros make sure i drink like two three liters of water um eat some veggies go for a walk you know let me work out today like just write that on a list every single day and actually accomplish it or maybe if you take three out of five you know you're still gonna make progress and that all goes down to goal sitting so yeah that's that's pretty much what i wanted to say it's been on my mind since yesterday and i was like you know what i gotta record this video or else i'm not gonna forgive myself because like i said it's not only me that's going through something like this there's a lot of people that are going to the gym and just not want they just don't know what they're doing they're just like why, why am i actually here what's my reason what's the why you know and a lot of the why is they don't have a goal it's just doing it to, to do it and yeah some people some people can get away with just working out just to work out um and not having a goal like it's just a routine type of situation fair enough that's that's cool for you but if you're someone like me that thrives off of progress and making steady progress continuously then you, you can't do that <laughs> you need to be having a goal and working towards something um and like i said it can be the smallest thing as long as there's a there's a vision there's a goal there's an end result and then you make new goals because <laughs> that's how we run out here you know what i'm saying but there's an end result and something to work towards again thank you guys for watching this video um hopefully that was a little bit informative hopefully i didn't babble too much and go off topic but 
yeah i just needed to make this video for you guys um if there's any other topics that you guys have been thinking about or anything you need help with i'm your boy moose loves fitness and i will catch you guys in the next one love life love life love life peace